Ringo's Katie News. Now, climate change is a global phenomenon that is causing deaths and shocks to populations. But even as countries move to change this worrying trend, just what can you and I do in our small little way? Dondo Muli is from the Muli Children's Home and she will take us through initiatives we can all jump on and take advantage of. Welcome to the set, Dondo. And uh, straight on, over 6,000 children you are taking care of. You're not uh, seeking for aid. Uh, it is a time where climate change is a global phenomenon causing shocks, as mm -hmm. I've just uh, stated earlier. Yes. How do you do it? Thank you so much, Dennis, for having us today. We are so privileged to be here. Mm -hmm. And just to share what Muli Children's Family is doing, uh, over and above our primary uh, call or primary uh, vision is to actually take care of street children, child mothers, neglected, abandoned children, of which we give them a home in Muli Children's Family. We have 11 different campuses all over Kenya and two in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And those, that is the place where we, we actually are having the 6,800 children mm -hmm. being hosted and homed uh, there. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to um, now sustainability, mm -hmm. when you have so many of these children who of which we run our own schools internally, we, pro we have to provide food for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Muli, or Professor Muli, he is the founder, as you have seen, the founder mm -hmm. of Muli Children's Family with our mom, Esther Muli. The initial uh, quest was, how do I actually feed these children who come to us, who are now being, who have been committed to MCF, without necessarily going to beg. Because sometimes there is donor fatigue. Mm -hmm. you, you can't just keep uh, begging. And uh, Professor Muli, by background, he is an entrepreneur. He was a businessman who sold his businesses and you know, got that calling to take care of street children back in uh, mm -hmm. 1989. Due to that effect of wanting to know how can I feed the children? How can I clothe the children without not necessarily depending mm -hmm. on, on donors? That's when he began now, let's, uh, uh, the uh, sustainability project. Mm -hmm. These are, you know, the farming mm -hmm. that we do. We do extensive farming. We do French beans mm -hmm. uh, farming for export uh, into the European con mm -hmm. uh, countries. And Actually, our, our farm was the first indigenous farm mm -hmm. to get, by then it was called Eurogap, yeah. to be Eurogap certified. Right now it's called Global mm -hmm. Gap certified, so that we're able to send our produce into the um, uh, uh, European Union. Mm -hmm. And then it went on to now uh, farming, planting vegetables for our own consumption, mm -hmm. and even sell in the in the local in markets, local right? We have also one thing that we are really keen on right now is poultry production. Mm -hmm. We are having state of the art uh, um, bands or chicken bands, mm -hmm. which are environmentally controlled. So we control the temperature, you know, we are able to find like, uh, make sure that we know the kind of feed that is going in there, mm -hmm. you know, the water and everything is monitored there. And why do we do this? So that when we sell this uh, chicken, one barn is actually hosting uh, 40,000 chicks or uh, chicken, mm -hmm. right? Bloyers. And then or the other one, so there are two of them. So 40 plus 40, that is 80,000. 80, yeah. And then it, the chicken, they get ready in, in a span of, of uh, 30 days, 30, days, yeah. 30, 28 days. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, then now, we are in regions whereby it's arid, semi-arid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have also projects in Trukana, mm -hmm. Lodwa in particular. We have projects in Vipingo, Malindi, Malindi. you know, Yata and Ndalani, which mm -hmm. are arid and semi-arid. So the question of climate action comes in. Mm -hmm. How do we ensure that we actually consistently, you know, with the adverse effects of climate change, mm -hmm 
that make sure that we still have food mm -hmm. for these children mm -hmm. that we take care of and have earnings from the same. Mm -hmm. Now, Ndondo, um, when you talk about being able to run your programs, that yes. is feeding the over 6,000 children that are there, and the agriculture that you get into, one of the most important things that uh, you've gotten into is irrigation farming. Yes. This um, is all about uh, having dams to be able to do this for mm -hmm. when it is uh, not rainy days, but for hotter days to yes. come. Um, so how important is doing this together with uh, the community and what is your message to people out there who want to get to your level but don't know what to do? Mm. First of all, you have to mm -hmm. have the vision. Mm -hmm. Professor Muli is a visionary man. He sees the end and mm -hmm. then comes for us and tells us this is the strategy mm -hmm. that we need to use and then puts us on board and tells us, okay, how do we get there? But mm -hmm. he already knows where to get, right? So climate change, anything that you will need to have a conversation on, you will just have to have a vision of the end of what you want. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have actually followed. That's what is actually putting us uh, on top. Now, uh, when it comes to uh, uh, the climate change, how mm -hmm. we, have, we have gotten in, and we have dams mm -hmm. that we have dug over the years. Mm -hmm. Right now, there are, there are five of them extensive ones. Mm -hmm. We are in Yata, which mm -hmm. is very dry, dry. area. And yet there's enough water for us mm -hmm. to sustain our f production, whether it rains or it doesn't rain. We have adequate water supply for our, all our irrigation purposes and also for our own consumption because we have dug boreholes for, and we also do water purification mm -hmm. for our children so that we have clean water. How do we bring in the community mm -hmm. now? The community, we have employed women mm -hmm. and men, especially we have a, um, uh, an inclination to widows. Mm -hmm. We provide, you know, we provide employment for them. Right now we have, MCF employs almost a, about a thousand people, mm -hmm. casuals mm -hmm. and permanent workers. And they come to our farms and through that they are learning mm -hmm. how to, how to store water because we teach them that. We teach them also how to get involved because they're the ones who, for example, when we have the, the, the tree nursery, mm -hmm. those ladies are the ones who are actually making sure that the seedlings are planted well, we are employing them. Mm -hmm. So they take the same technology into their homes and they're able to now start planting trees the way MCF does it. Mm -hmm. And we give them those trees for free mm -hmm. so that they're able to also, it, 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 is, it goes beyond just us and into the community. Yes. So if, you, if our success has been in that, seeing the end, bringing in the community and also involving the children. Mm -hmm. How do we involve the children? We work with different um, primary schools mm -hmm. and secondary schools. We have something called ADAPT a tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, yes, yeah. and adapt a tree. What, what exactly is adapting a tree? Because I'd say um, now in my 30s, <laughs> if I had started ab adapting trees back then, those would be 30-something trees. Yes. So why, the, what, why that idea and so far how successful has it been? Dennis, you're in 30s. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that will count like 30 plus, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, trees. Yes. But then, now... Adapting a tree, it doesn't matter how old you are mm -hmm. or where you start. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of it all. Mm -hmm. We've brought in these schools that we are in our location, mm -hmm. in Yata mm -hmm. area, sub-location. And even we work with universities mm -hmm. and international universities. Mm -hmm. And we're telling them, you know what? It doesn't matter where you are. And even the communities, we are yes. giving them trees mm -hmm. for free and telling them, take care of this seed, uh, mm -hmm. tree seedling. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you follow what we have said. Dig a hole three by three by three and put it in, put new soil, put a manure in there and then make sure that you're watering that tree. Mm -hmm. So by that, we, are, we developed also um, a competition, mm -hmm. you know, called the Dr. Charles Muli Environmental Award. Mm -hmm. So these schools will compete, will go and evaluate 
how many of the trees that we gave you are actually surviving mm. in your schools? Do you now have a forest? And some have done so exceptionally so well. They have forests in their schools. So, and there, the children also are being in, uh, invited into taking the same trees mm. into their homes. Mm. And through that, we are educating not only ourselves, benefiting ourselves with the 20 million. When we say 20 million, mm. that is how the 20 million has mm. happened. Mm -hmm through the children, adapt a tree. So it doesn't matter where you, what, what age you are, or even old, old women, we're telling them, you know what, let's, it's climate change action. Mm -hmm. Can we get onto it? Mm -hmm. Can you just take one tree, mm -hmm. take care of it this year, next year, get another one, or even two, three, whatever you are able to. And yes, indeed, Dondo Muli says that when it comes to issues to do with climate change, it is a collective responsibility that they are doing that with the community, with the children, with schools. Therefore, I, as Dennis Asado, does not matter at what age I decide to start adopting a tree, that it is a collective mm. action. And yes, indeed, this conversation definitely must continue. And we wish you the very best as you continue to green this earth Thank and you. live sustainably. But now, let's take a short commercial break. We will be back with much more.